What's up, YouTube? It's TYP336 here. Giving you a new deck profile. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for the like, past couple weeks now. I've just been, I've been, from where I've been testing, like back and forth, left and right, with so many different variants and builds of this deck. I was trying to finally find the build I feel really comfortable running for this format. And I fi uh, finally found that build so far uh, that's been working out for the past two weeks now my testing and it's uh emptiness wing uh, uh black wings with veins emptiness uh you can call it emptiness wings or whatever you want to put like put your own spell on the title of the deck um my honest opinion i just feel like this is the best build for black wings right now i don't feel like the value build is really like good enough to compete in this matter right now if you've been following like, if you've been following my channel for these past four or five years I've been on YouTube and you know that I, the black wings is was one of my first was well not one of my first well one of my biggest decks that I did really successful with and it's one, one deck I've always enjoyed and I always, and I always will enjoy um, besides Dark World, and there will be another Dark World deck profile coming soon. I've been trying to find a build I've been comfortable with, just like, because I've been in the same boat as uh, Dark World Mofo. Like, I've been in kind of a funk with uh, competitive Yu Gi Oh! right now. Like, this it's boring. Like, uh, that's but that's for another video. I'll get, I will get into that, what I think about the meta and stuff. But anyway, let's get on to the deck. We'll start off with the monsters. There's 19 monsters. Um,. 15 spells and 7 traps, uh, uh, 15 traps and 7 spells, I'm sorry. You got triple shears, duh. Triple boars, there's no excuse not to play them now since Whirlwind's at 3. When Back when Whirlwind was at 1, I disagreed with this card being th at 3 in a deck. You only need 2, 3 was just not, not good. Uh, 3 clutes. Two Sirocco. I've been on the fence with this card for a little bit, just for the simple fact, like, if you open up with it in your, in your starting hand, and like you can't really, you can't really do nothing with it, but like a lord away. But that's about it. Like it just, it was just honestly sits there. I might cut it to one. Um, two Blizzard. Like this is another card that ends up getting either a lord away or like here lately. I've just been. Here lately has been proven it's a lot better of a card than I think, but usually just gets a lord away. Uh, Zephyrus, love the card. Uh, Black one Koichi, the Daybreak. It's uh, if you don't know what this does, it's a level four tuner, seven hundred attack, fifteen hundred defense, and it, uh, its text reads: If this card was special summon, it cannot be used as synchro material. Now that's not an effect, guys. That is a condition. Um, pretty much, I just use this to go into my Key, uh, my key bill locks with Shura and key bill, or I'll go Bora and um, I'll go, I'll, I can do Shura and Shura and Koichi go key bill and protect my emptiness, or I can go Bo or I can go Koichi and Bora and go into either a late synchro, or I can go into a key bill and protect emptiness if I have it. But yeah, card's pretty good, I like it. Uh, one gale to finish out the black wing lineup and then for the support card the four support monsters you got two maxis the reason uh, a lot of people was like why am I, like why are you playing maxi and Antonis in the same deck like i mean really why not like the more answers you have you have this meta the better uh, uh, the better i see it i mean if you don't open up with the emptiness like and you're not going first i mean what good like what good is it really going to do you because more than likely if they have the stuff they need to do they're going to go off first turn and I just like having this as like insurance, just like to get me not just to get me some more firepower into my hand. And I mean, it's a good card. And the finishing out Dark Arm. I've been going back. I've been on the fence with Dark Arm as well. Like same with the Sirocco. Like it's card's been more dead than anything. Like I've dropped Dark Arm in the past two weeks, maybe three to four times. That's about it. Um, I mean it's. I mean, it's a good card, but I mean, it's, it, I don't really ever get to use them. Usually, they either scoop to the key bill lock, or it's just, I just never see the cards, or it's just dead, just sitting there in the hand. 
and ends up getting the Lord away. But anyway, that's the monster lineup. Uh, spell lineup, very short. Uh, Triple Whirlwind, there's no excuse not to play three. If you play two, you're retarded. If you play one, you just need to go back to school. Uh, two Pi Duality. Uh, I, cut the, I was playing three of this. I cut it down to two just for the simple fact I did not like opening like multiples of this in my uh, multiples of this, of this in my hand just because it'd be dead like for the for that part uh for the that part of my turn and i'd rather just i'd rather it be something else in my hand than i than me just sitting there like what two and hell three dualities and some sometimes during my games so i just cut it to two and it's been working like amazing like i don't really miss the third duality at all um uh, one lore and one book that's it for the spells, then on to the, you might, on to the, oh, uh, trap my own. Uh, triple Lickers. Uh, double Emptiness, I don't like three, this, I, it, like, you don't, one thing people don't understand about this build of it, you will not get the key build lock every single time, you will not always open up, like, Shirabora or, uh, Koishibora or what, or what have you, you're not always gonna open that up, so I just, I, I just leave it at two, and it's, Works a lot better at two than it does three. That, that's just my opinion. Um, two fingers chain, two mirror force, two dimensional prison. This was a last minute thing I put in. Um, I, I like I've been looking for like more like protection in my back rows because even though I had like thirteen traps, like at the time I felt like I was lacking like defensive power. I was like. I wonder how Dimensional Prison will work. And it's been working amazing. Like, a lot of people, like, one really popular deck that's been going around right now in my locals is Battling Boxers. And I'm just, like, Banishing Lead Yoke, like, puts me in such a, and put, puts me in such a good mood. Like, if you know what that does, just look up Battling Boxer Lead Yoke if you want to know what that does. Um, Solemn Warning, duh. Torrential, duh. Bottomless, duh. And last card, Delta Crow. Delta Crow has won me so many games just off of a like they will have they will go set four and summon a monster and in turn and I'm just like in phase Delta Crow and they just scoop it up and they're like game two and if it happens again they're just like okay good game but that's the Blackwing main deck uh onto the extra deck real quick Magical I enjoyed. I just like this, like especially for regionals, like just so I can plus off of five points. I like I tried our mate. Uh, I tried our mateys keep, uh, ba uh, keeper of boundaries. I believe it is over here, and it, like it's a good card. Don't get me wrong. It's just I never could get the effect off. Like every time I would summon it, it's just like bottomless, torrential, compulsive. It's just like it's all the generic shit, and I never got off. So I was just like whatever. I'm just gonna put in Android. My pretty much be the same thing in my eyes. Um, one scrap dragon. Sorry, this ain't in order. Um, and switching like stuff back and forth with my decks and shit. Um, one make stroke. Uh, one Bist Dweller. One Master Key Beal. I thought about Amphitheus 2 and taking out my Darken. But like Darken's been like really helpful here lately as well. Uh, one guy got a Cowboy. One Ice Beast Ser uh, Fine. I love this card. The highest I've gotten his attack points up to is 4,700. It was ugh, ridiculous. Uh, one Catastrophe. One HTS Behemoth. I love this card as well. It's like... The best level six we have right now. Uh, one dark end, one uh, blackwing arm master, one black rose, one stardust, um, one crimson blader, like one of the stars of the format, and last but not least, last but not least, blackwing arm queen. All right, guys, that is my blackwing deck. Uh, let me know what you think about um, the deck and like stuff I can add to it and like changes and some changes and shit. And yeah, I'll be having my dark deck profile up soon. I'm gonna do a couple. Uh, Dual vi uh, dual videos hopefully tomorrow. Um, if I don't get if I don't get around to upload them tomorrow, I do apologize. Tomorrow is my mother's birthday, and I want to spend some time with her. So yeah, this is TYP three three six. Peace, guys.